I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for posting their request. Here is a question from one of our subscribers. The question is from GCSE previous papers. It is based on quadratic functions. The equation of the curve is y equals to x square plus ax plus b, where a and b are integers. The points 0, minus 5 and 5, 0 lie on the curve. Find the coordinates of the turning point of the curve. So here is the parabola, which represents the quadratic equation. We are given two points. One is 0, minus 5, that is the y-intercept, and the other one is 5, 0, which is the x-intercept. And what we need to find is the turning point, which is right here, right? So that is the equation. Let us see how to solve such a question. So, so we have the equation y equals to x square plus ax plus b. There are two unknowns, a and b, and we need to, we have two points, so we can definitely find uh, the solution, right? So this is minus 5, that is 5, and let this, we'll find this turning point, let this turning point be, uh, let's say pq, okay. So let us first find what A and B are. So we can substitute these points one by one. So the first point 0 minus 5, if I substitute, the x is 0, y is minus 5. So we get minus 5 equals to 0 plus A times 0 plus B. So that gives you the value of B as equal to minus 5. So we got one of those parameters. The other one we'll find by substituting the second point. So now we can place b as minus 5. So we get equation y equals to x squared plus ax minus 5. Correct? Now here we'll substitute the second point, which is 5, 0. So 5, 0 means y value 0 this time. And x value is 5. So we get 5 squared plus 5 times a minus 5. So let's bring these terms to the left side. So this 5 minus 5 square equals to 5a which is 5 minus 25 and we are going to divide this by 5 to get the value of a. So that is minus 20 over 5 is a which means a is minus 4. So finally, we got our equation. Let me rewrite the equation here. So we have y equals to x square. The value of a is minus 4, so we get minus 4x. And the value of b we found as minus 5. So that becomes the equation for the parabola. We need to find the turning point. So how do we find turning point from the given equation? Minus b by 2a could be one way of doing it, right? If you remember, that is the turning point p equals to, where minus p means, in this case, negative of 4, which is 4, times a is 1, so 2 times 1, so we get the value of 2 as p. But actually, uh, some of you may not know this method, and therefore, what I'm going to do here is uh, complete the squares to find the turning point. Is it okay? I could have done like this. Substituting 2 in the equation will get the value of y also. Correct? But I, I'll actually extend this solution and uh, complete the squares. So we have y equals to x squared minus 4x minus 5. We could add and subtract half of 4 is 2, right? So we'll add and subtract 2 square. So that these three terms, they become a perfect square. Correct? So we could write this as x, the sign minus 2, whole square, right? And minus 2 square is minus 4, and that is minus 5. So what we get here is x minus 2 whole square minus 9. So that gives you the value of P and Q, right? So these two values give you the value of P and Q. So we have P 
whatever makes this 0, which is 2, and the value of q will be minus 9. So now we can write down the turning point. So we have turning point as what? Turning point will be 2 minus 9. Is that clear? Perfect. See, we had got that minus b by 2a. Let me explain this. In general, the equation of a parabola is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, the turning point for us p will be equal to minus b by 2a, right? So the x value of the turning point, uh, which we use the formula here to find. Once you find that, 2, I've got to substitute 2 here to get my answer, right? 2 squares 4, and that is minus 8, and minus 5 will give us minus 9. Is that clear to you? So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.